The following is a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Exploding down the sideline. This is Hanging with the Boys, presented by Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Now, your hosts, Nate Newton, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, and Shannon Gross. Thursday, the most search show on YouTube on the Dallas Cowboys Podcast Network. Hanging with the boys, Kurt Daniels, Jesse Holly, Nate Newton. You are looking live at Tostitos Championship Plaza outside the star of Frisco, Texas. 71 degrees, cloudy, a little bit of rain out there. Feels mm-hmm. like 71. Mm-hmm. Highs 82. Low tonight is 68. And we're one day away from Friday. How are you fellas doing today? Yeah, Kurt, say, uh, great, say, man. Say it about the rain, Kurt. The ra- oh, we need the rain. We need man. the rain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How you, Nate? I'm doing great. We got good weather out there. Uh, our guys are practicing in tight weather. Out, outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Does that make a difference, though? Uh, yes. yes, it does. Does it really? Yes, yes it does. Wow. Yes. So, so when... What was it? Three, four oh years ago, God. when they knew it was going to be pouring down rain, and and, and it actually rained here, here and we practiced we decided inside. To go inside. Yeah, that does make a difference. Huh? So glad that coach isn't here anymore. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I love you, Jesse. I love you. You consistent. <laughs> I love you. Hey, we had a discussion right before we right before we came on the air. This is a great question. We'll get to football in a second, like we do so many times on the show. Yeah. We should probably start the show out with football because that's why people tune in. But you know what? No, they they tune in for all of it. They love okay. every part of it. Well, our good because we're not going to talk about football yeah. for a minute. What is the last? What is the last movie you saw? Let's say. Both in theater and out of the theater. Jesus. I don't even think I can remember the last movie Which I watched you in theater. I went to see, I think the wife and I went to see that uh, Mighty Orphans. Power Rangers? No. <laughs> Not Morphins. Oh, Orphans. Oh. Mighty Orphans. <laughs> uh, movie about the Fort Worth, uh, Fort Worth High School team made up of orphans. Okay. Yeah, we How long see. ago was that? Uh, it was over the summer. Okay, so yeah. post COVID or during COVID? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I mean, post COVID, that's never going to be a thing because right. I think it's going to be around for a while. Last Man, I, I, I'm gonna go. Hey, I'm you take a movie it. buff. Nate. Yeah, no, no. I, I think the last one I saw was uh, was uh, uh, Daniel Craig. Uh, James, James Bond? Bond, man. In the theater? Yeah, that that was the last one, I think, man. I, I should have texted my wife right quick, like she would remember. But but the first one I'm going to see in theaters, my boy Daniel Craig James coming Bond? back with a Bond movie. What boy. about what about you still thinking? I think it was The Lion King. You're talking about the real wow. you're talking about the true Lion the King first movie. One? No, like the, they, did a, they did a remake. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They did a remake like, like, like two years ago, I think. Okay. People in it and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think two years ago, Lion King. I honestly cannot remember the last time I went. Yeah. I know I went. That's bad, man. <laughs> I know I went. I just That's don't remember. Bad. What about on what about like on your iPad? Oh. What's the most recent movie that you, you watched? You know, I've watched I can't even remember the name. It was some action flick on, on Netflix. He recently. is old. He is old. He called it a flick. <laughs> <Action> flick. <laughs> <laughs> hey Shannon being uh, <laughs> the rain. You never see that action flick. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Y'all listening to the program? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get got that my, record. Got my programs I watch. Play that record. What did you say, Chris? <laughs> I was going to say, now, now that you have kids, this is what's going to happen. My last movie in the theater was the Paw Patrol movie that just came out. I'm, I take the I, kids I'm down. My kid so. is a big Paw Patrol. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. That, it wasn't that bad, actually. The, really? the Pixar movies, you got to see all them, man. Yeah. They're classics. Wow. I love the Pixar movies. What about you, Jess? The last thing you watched like out of theater? Can't remember. I, can't I really, I, I don't watch movies like that on TV. I watch a lot of like documentaries and series now yeah. on my like on road trips, but other than that, like at home, I don't watch. Got any recommend? I started watching Squid Games and I've fallen asleep sleep twice. We turned that on last night and we were like, oh, "What's the fuss?" Yeah, so we, we got. I underst- We got to give it a little longer. Yeah, time, but. I take you old school when I go on the road, uh, Shannon. I watched Goonies last trip. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, you know, call, download that one. Call me old. What about you, Nate? <laughs> it's, it's a good movie. Yeah, yeah, the last, the, the last uh, two or three movies I watched: uh, New, The New England Patriots. 
Oh Lord! Speaking of, we need nah. to. Nah, you know what I'm saying. You asked me what movies I watch because it is a movie watching Belichick try to survive without Tom Brady. I'll tell you a good one, it Kurt. Is. You might actually, you, you might actually like this one. It's called Hip Hop Evolution, yeah. and it it's a I think it's a three season series, and they the first one starts back where how the first time somebody mixed a record in I think it was in Brooklyn. And then it, it kind of evolves over the years of hip hop and goes through like cool eight seventies eighties nineties. It's it's pretty cool. I, I got into that, but I, just, I don't know. Okay, okay. All, All right, right, Patriots, go, <laughs> go, <laughs> Nate, go. What do you want to talk about? No, I'm just saying. I, <laughs> tell you something, man. What? And I'm directing this at Je- Jesse, man. What I do? They offense ain't it, bro. They, it's not. It's, mm-hmm. it, it, that's why I said yesterday. <laughs> I, I remember when I said yesterday, and you all were like, "What?" I respect Bill. I respect what he's done and all those great things. Like, you can't take anything away from right. him. Right. You think it's over. He's floundering right now without Tom Brady. Like, Tom Brady made a difference. Yeah. How much influence does he have on the offense? Because he's a defensive guy, right? He has a lot. He, he has a – you know, he he gives Josh certain rope. But he, he like Jess said, he'll call it, hey, man, run the ball. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's involved in everything, <laughs> yeah, all, all the yeah. phases. But, you know – People ask the old age question, old, the old adage, yeah. old age yeah. question. Yeah. Um, we're, we're all hard time with words. I'm going to tell you right now. You've been hanging around. I've been you struggling all, today. <laughs> today has been you one of those You finally got us, Yeah, man. I, <laughs> wow. the, old, the old adage of, you know, for the Patriots dynasty, what was more prominent? The coach mm-hmm. or the, the player? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. The player? It's always going to be the player. Coaches can help you. Yes, they can. And, and, and they can they can improve you. But you're seeing right now, we, I, I talk about Micah being the eraser on defense, Dak being the eraser on offense. And I love the the eraser that Dak has become on offense, getting to the line of scrimmage and really getting into his bag now. Tom was the eraser because no matter where you suffered at, whether it was offensive line, lack of weapons, receivers, injuries, depth, you always had that ace in a hole with number 12. And he would be able to eliminate a lot of your deficiencies and say, you know what, hey, what do we, we got to do? We got to hold the ball a little longer? All right, cool. All right, we, we'll, we'll, we'll implement this. Or, hey, what do, you know, like you used to say, uh, uh, Norv and everybody talk like, hey, man, we got to score 30 today because right, we right, ain't going to be able right. to stop them. You know, yeah. But you always had that in Tom Brady. And more often than not, he came through. Matt Jones ain't that. He ain't even close to that. And so now you're starting to see kind of almost like in Rocky, the Russian was cut. And you're starting to see Bill being cut because you just don't have that dominant, dominant figure in Tom Brady to erase all your ill and and, and hide all your deficiencies. So that's why I said yesterday, like, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a tough game. But I just don't fear Bill Belichick anymore. Like I did when he had that assassin I, at quarterback. All right, because we're talking Cowboys defense, Patriots offense. Listen to how Kurt wants to start the show. Bullet point number one. Here's what Kurt has. Okay. All right. Diggs all right. is first in interception. I'm bringing but, up talking points. But here. he's also fourth in yards allowed and first in cornerback penalties, according to PFF. Something to worry about? Why you want to do? Let the man ride the wave, I'm, Kurt. I'm just, you know, bringing up questions. No, it's a good question. I, I, but I have a question. Wait, for, for are you where you? Are you, not, are you not going to answer the question? No, no, no. I'm not because you was trying to get at Kurt, and I'm not going to be a part of that. <laughs> you can be a part of it, Jesse. Well, I'm I gotta not, be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. I don't think I, I don't want to be a part I'm of taking it. Up, I've been taking up for Kurt for for a whole month, even though See, he's been knocking me in the you, side of my head. You know, you know what's <laughs> happened. Nate's getting sensitive because he's 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 pissed like three different people off on other shows. So now he's making sure his own show doesn't turn against him. Well, that's I'm what he's doing. I'm already turned, so I'm, I'm not messing So he's trying. But to I have a question for you. He's trying to hold I, on to you two guys. I have a I've question, already I have turned. A, I have a question for you. What's that? Uh, Hunter Henry, Janu Smith, Janu Smith. Church said he would he would try to cover him with linebackers. Uh, Isaiah said he no covering with safeties. I said I'm coming to Jesse to find out who do you cover these two tight ends mm. with. Big nickel 
And this is the emergence of J. Ron Curse, Keon O'Neal, having those big nickels, being able to go out there, and now I can throw different looks at you. Is right. that a new term? Big nickel? Yeah, I, yeah. I had a fan ask us to explain that. I've just started hearing that this year, and I've never heard it before. Is that a yes. Cowboy-centric term, or is that something to go into? It's, it, yes. it's a league term. You know, okay. you, you, you had you – know, so nickel is, we all know, is when you add your – uh, your extra third, back. your extra fifth defensive back. Yes, your fifth yeah. defensive back. You usually play in the slot. Well, now more teams, and actually, um, the Cardinals really started big nickel with Buda Baker. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, you know he was playing some of that hybrid linebacker type of situation, and now you see more teams now using that big nickel, and all it basically is is having that sixth. Defensive back who can come in and play at the linebacker position, but is there for the versatility of being able to run, run stopping, passing, pass covering, so on and so forth. It's just, it's just another way of saying, hey, we're going to add another DB to the mix, but he's going to be a bigger, stronger more athletic, physical DB. So it's like, you know, normally you used to have the two safeties. You got one safety hanging out in the box, but now that leaves you single high safety kind of deal. Now I would say, well, we can keep the two single high – we can keep the, the two high safeties, bring in that big nickel, and now have him play the linebacker position so I can cover running backs. Because that's the way the league has evolved, right? You have your Hunter Henrys, your Johnu Smiths, your, you know, your, your Blake Jarwins, your – Schultz and your Kyle Pitts right. and all these kind of run- – but also you got your Alvin Kamara's, your Cooks and all that kind of stuff. So your traditional linebackers, and, and I don't I don't call Micah traditional, but your traditional kind of box linebackers, your Leighton Van Der Esch of the world, they can't cover those guys. And so in order to combat that, I got to now add in another guy but also be a guy who's willing to stick his nose in there if they decide to say, you know what, okay, they're in big nickel, I'm going to hand it off, that guy can come up and still thud up and make tackles. And that's, that is perfect, perfect explanation, my friend. Thank I you. I mean, you know, you're, you're not my friend anymore. I'm not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Darren yeah. Woodson, he would have been a big, big nickel guy, wouldn't he? Darren Woodson was everything. Big, small, <laughs> medium size. He was everything <laughs> and intelligent. Yeah. Uh, coach would have loved him. Quinn would have loved Darren Woodson. He was ultra intelligent, man. He was the next level. Yes, sir. Route combinations, all that. He, he was before he was his good. time. Yeah, and that's right. He needs to be time. in the Hall of Fame, man. Conspiracy against the Cowboys. Wow. Is there that's anybody in, in the Patriots receiving core, tight ends, whatever, that worries you? No. The, the, these two guys here, but uh, <laughs> can the quarterback get him the ball? And he can't. Can the quarterback get him the ball? That, that was my big thing. Next question to you, because Bill is going – even though he's struggling because he don't have the players, you you just don't have the players with the mind that that Tom brought. And so, what is it that we gonna see this week? If say, this is what Bill trying to do to us, because you'll see it early. Because he's gonna try to keep the game close. So I'm looking at the uh, Saints game, and it was 21-13 with uh, until Taysom Hill scored. They drove down and scored, and it was 21-13. He made it 28. Uh, 13. So they every game has been close. But, every game that, has been but close. But that's been his MO. Yeah. But in the past yes. you had yes. you had Mariano Rivera. Right, right, right. You had a closer, bro. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You, you had Mariano Rivera when you're yeah. you go into the fourth quarter and you're 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 within six, seven, eight points, and Mariano comes down, and now you gotta look down the gun barrel against Mariano, and a lot of times you flinch. Yeah. And that he split does thing it. A fastball was coming. And you knew it. <laughs> you yes, know what I'm saying? Sir. And so I still couldn't hit the, it. The, the, the <laughs> mo is still the same. Yeah. I want to keep it close. I want to. I want to muck it up. I want to get into the fourth quarter, and I want you to make the mistake. Problem is, you do not have what you call you. We say you're going to the movies to see who? Uh, James Bond. James. You Bond. ain't got James Bond. Yeah. You don't have in him. his box of tools. You, you don't. You don't have John Wick. <laughs> right, right. You ain't you, got that guy no more. Oh, you, just, you ain't got the oh. equalizer. You ain't got Denzel. <laughs> you, don't have, you, you, you got. You got. You got Mac Jones. <laughs> oh, don't do it like that. I'm just saying. Yeah. But but one of the reasons why they went out and spent a ton of money on John U. Smith and Hunter Henry was because they want to be able to control the middle of the field. I heard a stat this morning, and 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 this Brave Laufenberg said this stat. He said Jacoby uh, Jacoby Myers, the receiver there, has 116 receptions. Don't have no touchdowns. <laughs> really? It's zero touchdowns. He's <laughs> zero. Thrown, he's thrown for that. two touchdowns. 
Wow. He has 116 receptions. Five games in? Six, no, well, in his career. In his, oh, his career, career oh. there. That's 116 receptions. I thought you meant this year. I'm like, no, what? No, 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 not this year. And doesn't have a touchdown. Wow. It's hard to doesn't do. have a touchdown. <laughs> so they're, they're not – Mac Jones is not throwing the ball down the field. They're not no, this – No, no, no. He's throwing it down the field. He's not – I'm. he's not made no connections. Well, yeah, you, you, you could, you could, yeah, we can all throw it down the field. <laughs> but the, you, but you see what I'm saying? They trying to throw it down. The, they ain't making no connections, and that's why I keep saying. And this is a shame. We're talking about the Patriots and talking about Tom Brady. Just, and I'm saying to myself, wow, they they can't make a connection. They they throwing it 15, 20. Now, I've seen a couple of times where they just took it 25 yards, and I'm saying. They can't make a connection a because bad. they have nothing under underneath that you see the deep safety running with the corner, back there with the receiver. You asking guys that have never, never made big plays in the NFL to make big plays for this kid. They can't. That's why I'm gonna repeat what you said. Hunter Henry, uh the Smith kid, they brought them in there to make them plays. For some reason they can't get them the ball. Yeah. With any consistency. All right, let's take our first break. When we come back, more Cowboys, Patriots on the fan favorite show. Hang in. We might go to the right fans now. We talking about Tom Brady too much. <laughs> Honey, big news. Gary, are you okay? Oh, I'm not Gary anymore. I'm Jackie Flash. What? See, I want the latest smartphone, but the best deals are only for new customers. So to get a new customer deal, I changed my name to Jackie Flash. Okay, but the best smartphone deals at AT AT&T are for everyone, new and existing customers. That's huge. Then guess who's getting a deal? Is it Jackie Flash? Jackie Flash. It's not complicated. At AT AT&T, our best smartphone deals are for everyone. Restrictions apply. Visit att.com for details. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. The Cowboys way. Where 16 Hall of Famers and five championships shows us what success looks like. Where turkey is always the second best part of Thanksgiving Day. Where we are all defined by one single thing, the star. Where we as fans know it's our job to keep the tradition going. Bank of America is proud to be the official bank of the Dallas Cowboys and to support the quest of living life the Cowboys way. Copyright 2020, Bank of America Corporation. How great would it be to travel to watch the Cowboys win on another team's turf? Pretty great. But honestly, just watching the game from anywhere but your house would be fun. Even a hotel bar with some guy named Phil from St. Louis who thinks Oakland still has a team. So whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com. Proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Back to hanging with the boys. Energize your next event with an appearance by the world famous Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Ignite your audience and create personalized moments for all to book America's sweethearts for your next event. Visit DallasCowboysCheerleaders.com slash appearances. You need to do that for your next birthday, Kurt. <laughs> I got a shout out. Let's give a couple shout outs before we get to this next segment. Get let's, out. Get them let's out. Let's give a shout out to my guy. I can't listen in person, do the work, but hanging with the boys is my favorite show on the Dallas Cowboys let's site. Go. It's the number one show by hands down. Let's go. I've been a Cowboy fan since the 70s. Wow. Shout out to our guy, sports fan C Stan. Uh, I got another shout out for uh, my guy, Armando. What is it? Armando. Up, Armando. Yeah, Armando Boone. Boone. Yeah. Our uh, boy, he's in Colorado. You know what I'm saying? Stay high, my friend, in Colorado. Uh, we also got. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, <laughs> we got Justin Richards. Can I get a shout out on the today's show? Long time listener. I also want to thank you for everything that you do to contribute to uh, awareness to mental health. Thank you guys for always producing a number one show Let's week go. in and week mm. out. So Justin Richards, uh, my boy Armando Boone, and C was sports fan C Stan. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys for who listening. Was the, who was the gentleman we had yesterday? He you sent us a picture of him. 
from 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 Panama. Yeah, yeah. homie from Panama. That was telling. That was a great picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Panama. We we man, why. we we touching a lot of people worldwide, man. We. We legit. We too legit to quit. We are legit. That was so corny. The why, why he? Why are you trying to work up something? You trying to work? You've been trying to work up something ever since we started the show. What What's you, wrong today, Shannon? What are you talking about? You, you trying to work up something after everybody say something? You you coming on mom? Uh, uh, I'm just kind of. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's the weather. <laughs> that's what I'm what? saying. What's wrong? Kind of out of it today. You got, you got worries about this game? No. no. Uh, you know, I'm back and forth. Like. They, they, I I think no I think the game's well, gonna, changed. I think the game's going to be close <laughs> but then I come in here and I listen to Jesse and Nate and I'm like they're going to kill these guys like but I think with it being in New England against Belichick the weather might be like it is here I I almost think it's going to be a Three to seven point game really? like a four or five point know, game after Foxborough looking at, after I, looking at their uh, offense today it was kind of like. Man, I don't know how they're gonna how they're gonna keep up. <laughs> gonna keep hey, up. Hey, put yeah. me on, man. Put me on. Put me on. Put me on. Get click me on, Chris. Click him on, Chris. Yeah. You see that? That's Foxborough, baby. No, we can't see it because you have 66. it right up against. Six. What is it? What Twenty percent rain For chances. Saturday, keep going, rain chances keep going up. Twenty percent. Sixty now. degree low, seventy four degree high, partly cloudy. That's Sunday, full sun. What is it? Sixty six. Sixty six. Now click over. Let us see those. Let us see those other pictures you got in there. Swipe. <laughs> no nah, man, huh? I took them out when I got married. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. But I like I I want to think it's close. I tell you what I do think about this game. I think everyone wants to get excited. Everybody keeps making excuses. I think this game. If you go in and this is a close game, then this is a good team. If you go in and they blow these guys out, get excited. Hmm. Book book your reservations for the playoffs. Go this ahead and will get be a blowout blow tickets. It will. This will be a. If blowout. it's a blowout, then this is a really, really good football team. The this only is thing a top five team I in the NFL. Fear or have small concern about the last couple of games. We've started slow. Mm-hmm. I've hope we we've shaken that off, and that we mm-hmm. come out to a fast start because the luxury that we've had of starting slow, we've been at home. Yeah. We've been able to keep yeah. momentum. The crowd. Oh, they're going to be fired us. up up there. They're going to be fired up. They're going to be fired. They've lost three at home and trying to break it. And they're trying to break against it. the Cowboys, right? Um, and to a point that we saw a lot of people talk about yesterday for the Cowboys defense. We saw DQ uh, at practice had the helmet on yesterday, mm-hmm. and I actually once I started seeing it, I went back and I was looking at some of it last night, and the reason. They're working on that so heavily. If you for those that don't know, Coach uh, Defensive Coordinator Dan Quinn was out in practice yesterday with a helmet on, and they were working on cut blocks. And all the players praised him about like, man, he was actually quicker than I thought he was going to be. <laughs> because when you watch the Patriots on offense, they do a lot of cut blocking, and they do a lot of cut blocking, which is really not a, a big thing like it used to be back no, in the day. No. Um, because that, guys are so athletic now. Is that right. going low on them or across? Yeah, yeah. Or getting, into getting into their knees. Getting into their knees. Getting into their knees. And the reason being is they want to get the ball out of Mac Jones' hands quick on quick passes. So I talked about it last week when when, when Dak threw the interception. Mm. And I said, man, Tyra got to got to get at that guy so that he can put his hands down. And it goes right over his head. But he Tyra didn't get to him. He backed off and tipped it and caught the interception. So for this week, again, they're going to be trying to cut that speed, right? When you got Randy, you, you watch Randy last week coming off the ball uh, uh, against the uh, against the Giants. He was he, he was like he shot was out of, he was, the he was shot out of a cannon. <laughs> yeah, he was shot out of a cannon. He was quick inside moves, outside moves, t uh, t uh, stunts. He was coming. So they Bills gonna look at that and say, all right, how do we alleviate that? All right, let's cut him. But also Matt getting the ball out right down to the to the boundaries, to the receivers, short passes, quick passes. And they want to methodically dink and dunk their way down the field. And, you know, now with Trayvon Diggs playing so well, you know. Kurt doesn't think so. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. He's on. He's uh, going. I think more so it's going to be those quick passes trying to get behind that, behind those linebackers in front of those safeties to John New Smith, to Hunter Henry. And those James White you, still there. Yeah, he's the, still there, man. How do they how do they combat the cut blocks and the dump offs and? But if it's three step drop, you ain't you ain't you ain't. 
if it's a three step drop. You just not. I mean, it's on your DBs. Dudes then? can no. Dudes can think all they want. Oh man, I just jump anyway. Okay, hey, take one so, bad fall. So, and you, so you so that's how you that. that's how you neutralize a good defensive line is doing yeah, that. And yeah, then, do it. And, but a quarterback got to get it out of his hands. If he hits one step, woo, you got the blitz at the right time. You'll kill it. And I think that's that's where I'm at with this game. Is this game the cowboy the old Cowboys would go up there no matter how bad this team was and they would either win or lose by one to three points. That's why I'm thinking you go up there and like if Jesse's right and they they dominate this game, then I then I I think I'm coming out of this kind of being a little uh, a little bit of that residue from the old Cowboys like it's okay, this is a new team. They went up there and they did what they should do, which they've done it every game so far this year except with Tampa Bay. <laughs> They were there, moral victory. No, it wasn't. But anyway, no, it was. don't don't I, do that. I think they, if they see, if see if you they, setting us up for failure this week. No, 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 because I just think the old Cowboys would have squeaked it out. And, and you and Nick will find a way to make everything a moral victory. No, you got to win. If you win in dominating fashion, I think it's like okay, if let's you, go. Let's let's book the tickets. Let's go to L.A. At least the out, second round of the playoffs. If you come out, like Jesse said, and start fast. You take away everything Bill is trying, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, because he's trying to figure out what is that play, what is that move where I can get to keep this game close. You you jump up by seven to nine points, all of a sudden, uh, Josh Daniels got to scrap his deal or protecting his guy because you got to throw it. You know they'll keep trying to run, but Dak them won't stop scoring. Yeah. So when all of a sudden we got to sit and duck. Mm-hmm. You know he tried to run a little bit these last few games, but they don't want that. So. If we come out and get seven to nine points ahead of these cats, we set the tempo, they got to keep up. But if we come out three, they get three, we get seven, they get uh, three, and they close, Bill going to be like, I, I, I can get them in the fourth. I can get it. it. Yeah. Are we allowed to cross shows? Yes, Am I allowed yeah. to talk about things on this show that we talk about on other shows? Yes, sir. Go ahead on, man. Let me tell you what. What this guy did last night. Yes, sir. Oh, all right. Common sense, baby. Always and forever. He said yeah. it's a pipe dream to expect the Cowboys to go to the Add on to what year. you want. I'm not the Bible, so you can add and take away as you Mr. feel. Mr. 17 and 0 said. 16 and 1. <laughs> 17 and 0 said that he thinks it's unrealistic that the Cowboys go to the Super Bowl. It's year. unrealistic that we think that we're going to the Super Bowl. It's unrealistic. And history mm-hmm. proves me right. 30 years of it. So go ahead on. Who was it? Amari Cooper the other day said after the win, he said, You start winning like this, you start thinking about the Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. And, they, you're, and you're that's what coaches that's are fighting. Early. That's what coaches yeah. are fighting right now. This is what coaches are fighting. What, 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 what you have to understand, and I tell people, it ain't about being a player or being a coach. It's about watching and understanding who your team is and how they incrementally get better. If we win our first playoff game, which, okay, right now we three games up in the East. Am I correct? Uh, two, I think. We two, two games up in the East. Technically, we three. Because we, did, we, did we play? We played Philadelphia. We ain't play, we haven't played yeah. Washington. Yeah, we we so, Washington. so I'm just saying in my mind. Okay, now you got a chance to win four games here, starting with this game. If you are 8-1 and one, or 7-2, at, at, at nine games, because that's the new halfway mark, eight and a half, nine games. If you sitting there, if even if you stumble on the back end a little bit when our schedule get a little tough, you're still up ahead by two or three games. You get 12 games in, and let's say you got nine or ten wins. Now you pick your, you pick your poison. You, hey, we hype this game, everybody back. Now we, we get one or two more wins. You are sitting at home the first week. I ain't even giving us the bye week. We are sitting at home. We win that game. Now you are playing a team the next week that is equal or better than you. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're equal or better. You have to win that game. Yeah, yeah, if no. You, you, you don't like, win that game. I, I, think, I think wrapping up this season is going to be a breeze. Like yeah. You're going to maybe lose one or two more games this season. And then this is being everyone staying healthy, mainly your quarterback really staying healthy. The problem is, is that we already lost to one team that's in the NFC, yeah. mm-hmm. right? So if they continue on their trend, 
they're probably going to have the number one seed, which yeah. means they'll have a bye and they'll have home field advantage. You call the moral victory you want. That's the last person I want to see at any point in time. <laughs> That's the last, I don't want to go back to Raymond James I, I Field agree. to play Tom Brady at any point I, in time in January. I, 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 don't, I don't care what you talk about, whatever happened in week one. Ain't nothing I want to see less than going back to Raymond James to play Tom Brady. But you have there's a combination of teams that we'll you back, have to be. We'll back Green Bay against the Rodgers. I don't, don't yeah. want to go see it. That's the second <laughs> that's thing. The power rankings have the Cowboys like the fourth best team. And in that's the, the thing is the, that in conference. Whatever yeah. whatever combination you want, you're going to have to beat three teams to get to the Super Bowl, and that's either going to have to be Tampa, Green Bay, L.A. The Rams, Arizona, Arizona. Yes, I'm in fifth best. Uh, yeah. And 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 you know. Maybe either Seattle or the Niners, mm-hmm. right? So you might see one of those in the first round. But you go ha- there. There is a gauntlet coming out of the coming from the NFC, and a lot of from the NFC West that you're going to have to beat in order to get to SoFi. And and and, this- and that's going to be a tall task to beat Rams, Bucks, Packers, uh, Cardinals. Cardinals. Yeah. Three weeks in a row. Who and see what I'm looking at is when you look at the Cardinals, this is their they got the Browns this week at the Browns. They got then the Texans, then Green Bay, then the 49ers, then the Panthers. They gonna win, I think, the Texans, they gonna win the 49ers, and they're gonna win the Panthers. These guys are and they're five and oh right now. So that's gonna make them Eight and whatever, eight and two. Mm-hmm. Eight. These guys are running right with us. Now, do we play the Cardinals? We yeah. do. January second, yep. so last time. That right there going to be a game that we don't know how that's going. So, but it would be a time for us to have a mojo moment. And I'm for real. When you play the Bulldogs, you got to win some of these games. You can't lose to the Bulldogs. We lost to one Bulldog in Tampa. If you lose to the Cardinals, if they have a great record, that's another Bulldog. Now, when you get in the playoffs, these Bulldogs got one bite up on you, bro. So you got your mindset is totally different. When do you start proving to yourself this is a week where you do it? You got to go up there and beat this 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 team. You got to start building little bit by little bit to order to put yourself in a Super Bowl situation. You just can't, hey, now we got a great offense, and now we got some dudes that can get some interceptions, and all of a sudden you're going to win? No, it ain't going to be that easy. It's not going to be that easy. Take our last break. When we come back, more Cowboys Patriots on the fan favorite, Hanging with the Boys. Be right back. Hey, Cowboys fans, ready to spice up your next watch party? Bring Yokiero guacamole and be the game day hero. Yokiero means I want, and we know you want, great, fresh-tasting, ready-to-serve guacamole for your home-gating and tailgating events. Made with real avocados and the perfect blend of spices, it will be the star of any party. You can find us at your local Albertsons or Tom Thumb in the deli section. If you can't find it, talk to your store manager and tell them, Yokiero, Yokiero guacamole. Honey, big news. Gary, are you okay? Oh, I'm not Gary anymore. I'm Jackie Flash. What? See, I want the latest smartphone, but the best deals are only for new customers. So to get a new customer deal, I changed my name to Jackie Flash. Okay, but the best smartphone deals at AT AT&T are for everyone, new and existing customers. That's huge. Then guess who's getting a deal? Is it Jackie Flash? Jackie Flash. It's not complicated. At AT AT&T, our best smartphone deals are for everyone. Restrictions apply. Visit att.com for details. It's game day. You know what that means. First, kebab prep. Steak, pepper, onion, steak, pepper, onion. Next, a counterclockwise lap around the room. Now, the lucky grease-stained jersey goes on. And lastly, the dance. You know the one. This is a game day ritual no matter where you are. Whether you're traveling to the game or watching from your favorite vacation spot, book a place to stay on Hotels.com and keep the tradition alive and well. Hotels.com, proud partner of the Dallas Cowboys. Hi, I'm Clint Tillerson with United Ag and Turf. When there's work to be done, a real workhorse can make all the difference. Like the Range Boss Package. Our 5075E John Deere 75 horsepower tractor features a bell spear and loader and starts at $369 per month. And the price you see is the price you'll pay. No surprises. It works like a horse, so you don't have to. Visit unitedagandturf.com. Offer ends February 1st, 2021. Restrictions apply. See dealer for details. Now, let's get to work. Back to Hanging with the 
Cowboys. Bring some Cowboys game day energy from the Dallas Cowboys Rhythm and Blue Dancers or Drumline to your next event. For appearance and performance details, visit DallasCowboys.com slash DCRB. Kurt, you should hire them for your next birthday. Well, I'm we should party, all pitch man. In, I got I the think. cheerleaders coming. I got the rhythm in. and blue. I got twenty bucks. Maybe rowdy. I got, I got twenty five bucks. on it. Victor Flores, what's up, Victor Flores? Biggest fan from Mexico. Let's go. <laughs> you, know, you know I'm down Victor with Flores. Mexico. Victor Flores from Mexico. You know I'm I down. Know, I know it's some Flores in, in Mexico. Uh, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Uh oh. We we was talking off air. You got Dallas four and one. You got Green Bay four and one. You got. Uh, Tampa Bay four and one. You got Arizona five and five and zero, oh. and the Rams are four and one. You and what I'm trying to get people to see, as we win games, and we have those mojo moments, we're gonna have to play through them, and we're gonna have to start beating teams that are equal, or may have better personnel than us. That is, you gotta winning is not easy, you know. Uh, you, we can go down each and every guy's uh, roster or uh, a schedule and say, okay, this is who they got, this is who they got. But yet the Cowboys will still have to face their opponents. And as the see, six games from now, four games from now, it's gonna be, this thing going to flop. Somebody going to fall out and somebody going to be gaining stinks. That's gaining. why, you, I mean, and, you're talking yeah. about beating the Bulldogs. you got to beat New England. I yeah. Mean, you got to take care of these guys you should be, right? Thank you. But – as the season go on, teams going to switch. And you're going to be like, oh, man, we didn't know that it was going to be like this. Are we you're going to still have to beat a team in the playoffs that's equal or better. Equal or better. If you play, let's say later in the season that the Cardinals do be good. Let's just take – it's going to be hard because of the schedule. But what if they say, wow, they are good. They are for real. Let's beat them. So are you thinking the Cowboys are getting a little ahead of themselves, getting a little full – Oh, oh man, thanks to Shannon and about a hundred million other fans, yes. You get a little ahead of yourself and you don't enjoy this. Let's you told there, me man. to enjoy myself this year, like two weeks Let's ago. Let's don't get silly. Let's don't go beyond. I'm not silly. I'm I think they they it, look you know the way what, they're man. starting off, if they don't make the playoffs now, it's a it is a tragedy if this team does not make the playoffs. Uh-huh. They'll make the, they the play making the play making the playoff second round at least or an NFC yeah. champion. I'm, I'm, see, I'm not getting ahead of myself cuz then Nate will holler at me. <laughs> no, no, no. Man, I just wish You were I, so you talk about me being wishy-washy. You all over the place, washy. man. <laughs> I'm not wishy. Jesse, explain. Explain. Let him dig himself out of this hole. Let him dig himself out. They think I'm being unreasonable. That can't be your default anymore, Jesse. Uh, uh, Help me out here. I don't think you're being unreasonable at all. I think you're right. They have to to defend against, like you you guys said, they have to defend against. You're right, but you can only play the people that are on your schedule. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. So far, they dealt with them except the first game of the year. Okay, okay. Now we got New England. We get past them. Then you got the next team, the next team. What is the schedule coming up? Vikings. By week, then the Vikings. So I'm, I'm telling you, you got to – you know what? It's a great way for – we got to even win the, win the off week. We got to win the bye week. You got to win the bye week? Yeah, by <laughs> hey, being – staying healthy. That bye week nothing, whoop, whooped them yeah, in nothing, the past. Yeah, nothing wrong <laughs> happening. We, everybody coming back. We're getting players back. This is where D-Law have to – have to and should make a great difference. You can't come back and just fit in the mold. He has to come back and be a great difference. This is where Gallimore flashed last year, but now he's coming back with maybe, what, four or five games left? Bro, yeah. empty your tank. You, you Forget a snap count. Empty your tank. Those guys are still you know. a little ways out. It sounds like they might be closer to Thanksgiving. But a guy like Donovan Wilson, who was a starter last year, he could be back after the bye. How do these guys – how are they going to fit them in? Has he got to earn a spot? I don't spot? know how good he is. Yeah, is, he got, is he not I know a starter anymore? I know he can turn the ball over. I know he can hit hard. I don't I, I don't know what these coaches are thinking about him. I knew what they thought about Gallimore before he got hurt. I knew what they we know about Tank. You know, is is he going to be what we saw two years ago? So those two guys I, I, I can depend on trying to make a difference in, what, in what's happening. Uh, I – it's coming up on the sixth game. Our defense is playing okay. Our defense is playing okay. Me, but I'm telling you, is it any offenses out there that's going to 
challenge the whole defense yeah. because the whole defense has not been challenged. Only one thing they want to challenge is Diggs, and they're getting beat on that. <laughs> you know. Speaking yeah. of, did you see he popped up on the injury report yesterday? Yeah, the ankle. Yeah, did not participate yesterday. Yeah, they, they, I think they said today he would do some uh, individual drills. So he okay. should put that ankle in the same place he put that eye. Oh, maybe he did. Maybe, maybe he did. How maybe that's that, why it's jammed you, up. How maybe that wagon that? was dragging. How does that happen? How do you? I don't, I don't know. Wanna, I, uh, elevate it. That thing. <laughs> that thing rotund. Elevate that thing on it. You know what I mean? Put the ice pack on it and elevate it. I, well, I, Nate, to your point, you're right. I think the encouraging thing. This year, to me, as a fan, is you've you've strung wins together. As where in the past, you win one, you lose one. You win two, you lose two. You you're always at eight and eight. The reason why I'm getting ahead of myself is maybe I am getting ahead of myself. You've played some decent teams. I think Carolina was a good team when you played them, right? They were they were they were well coached team with two coordinators that's pretty good coordinators and they got the most out of their players dallas proved to be better as mm-hmm. the game go on you, you beat the chargers which i think you're talking now, about that was nice you're talking about nice you, you got to beat teams that are better than you or equal than you I that, think that's a nice team the chargers mm-hmm. may be better than the cowboys they, 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 and, and, and that was on the road a, oh and, and i'm giving them all the credit they had two I'm touchdowns give, called back yeah. that could have been touchdowns that might <laughs> but that's those are the breaks but, that you yeah, need yeah. To get. you have to be lucky and good. I think one year we, it, and Kurt, you can look it up after this show if you get time. If you get time, well, I think we play like seven backup quarterbacks in one of our Super Bowl runs. Four mm-hmm. or five, maybe seven backup quarterbacks. Yeah. You, you got to get lucky, and the ball got to bounce your way. A la Green Bay, Dez catch. Some things got to. A la Green Bay. Yeah. Sideline, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you get you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes they have to bounce your way. Now you look at Brady and, and, and the NFC Championship game. See, this is what people say: Hey, you get in the tournament and anything can happen. No, 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 no. You get in the NFC or AFC Championship game and anything can happen because the garbage is going home. It's been taken <laughs> out. So mm-hmm. now when you see Tom Brady throw two interceptions back to back. Get in his defense, save him against Aaron Rodgers. Now anything can happen because two teams equally matched, two great quarterbacks equally matched. Now they playing, they playing chess and not checkers. Yeah, that was. I'm wondering, is this a concern? Because right now the Cowboys are, um, I think they're second overall in turnovers, takeaways. Mm-hmm. They're first all overall in opponent penalties. They're giving up a lot of yards. You know, the pressure isn't really not – I think they're 25th in pressure percentage. Are, the, are we covering up some of the warts because they're getting these fortunate fortunate plays? No, it ain't fortunate. They're making the play. They're making a, they made half of those plays over – you're talking about offense versus their defense or our defense? Our, def, our defense, our defense, our defense that kid has made the plays. You saw yeah. where well, he's made the plays. He's, but he's also got yeah, – yeah, I mean, he's, he's given yeah, up he, the most, like – Fourth most yards or something like you that. You got back so. round to it, didn't you? We right. tried to save you. you got back <laughs> to it. I'm just—he's not to be the sure. I'm just—he's not to be the We're trying to trash him. In there. I guess I've just asked the question: Are we? Is there concern there? Because yeah, too many, I do know. have concern. I, I I do, and we talk about it. At beginning at too many big plays. That is why when Tank get back. He has to be a different maker. When 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 uh, Gallimore, you have to, if you coming back just to get into rotation, we don't need you back. We need an impact guy like Randy Gregory is coming now. We just got to get him home and get some sacks where you can change how they do things. We need guys to get home now. This uh, OC seventy five. I got to learn the kid's last name. By the UCLA, he is he is beginning to bring it yeah. from defensive end position. You need to get and from the tackle. You need position. to get his three letter first name right first before you try <laughs> to tackle. Osa. 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 Okay, Osa. Osa. He ain't Don Terry. Osa. He's, 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 he's a plays. black man. He's not Indian. He's, he's make, a black man. He's making plays. You need to come up with a nickname for him because you'll. No, nah, no, nah, man. I'm gonna let this dude keep playing. Just call him. <laughs> call him the once big I get about a nickname, it's like they stop playing. Just call him the like Don Terrio. He oh, he rolled right up out of here. It's calling mm-hmm. the big O. That's easy. I ain't finna mess with this kid. I, I was stop, number seventy. What is that? Seventy five. Seventy. Seventy nine. He 79? changed to seventy nine. He's ninety seven. Yeah, ninety seven. Yeah, number ninety seven. I ain't, I ain't messing with this kid name. Goes to. 
Ghost. Osa. Osa was 75. And Jerry called him Colston. I don't know. Colston. I ain't the only one. The oh, happy, by the way, ha- we missed it yesterday. Happy birthday, Mr. Jones, yesterday. Yeah. Happy hey, birthday, Mr. Jones. You look, we missed it. You missed that. How did you miss that? I, I don't know, but he didn't miss my check. I know that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Still getting paid. <laughs> Still getting paid. All right, fellas. Yes, sir. Let's go to lunch, Kurt. Yeah. We can't get lunch here. Where do you want to go? Oh, Jose, uh, uh, Jose Aguilar. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you from El Salvador. Oh, wow. Yeah, man, listen. Worldwide, baby. We Worldwide, got, Kurt. We got Thanks ho for being here. in oh, different area. Jesse, good seeing you. Tomorrow, Friday, Nate, thanks for bringing it. We will be back. Fan fun, phone Friday, and tweets. Chris, thanks for keeping us on the air. Aaron, thanks for keeping Chris straight. Brother Will, thanks, Brother for, Will. thanks for not screwing anything up yet this week. We oh. got one more day to make it, Will. Don't let us down. Come on, man. Keep us in there. Keep we will be back. Derek, keep his hands off him. We'll be all right. Tomorrow, yeah. the fan favorites will be back at the same time, the same place. Survivors next. Hanging with the They're boys. Surviving. Survivors oh, by the way, next. Danny made it. He did. Danny made it through another round. <laughs> Survivors next. Team Danny, let's go. Hanging with the boys. Bye-bye. This has been a production of DallasCowboys.com and the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. How about this, Cowboys? Yeah!